Alright, first thing we do, slide the front lower cover off, set that aside. Every week, you going to spray the needle bars, LB5 is the best. One, two, one shot each on the springs. This is a lower needle bar. Then we're going to do the upper needle bar. And what you have to do is you have to look through this cover and you'll see the springs. And there's a spring on each one right there. And you just give each one of those a spray. That's every week. So that's the needle case. We're going to, uh, this cover is usually up like this. Take one screw off the top and then flip down this cover. Again, we're on needle 15. So we color change all the way over to 15. And what you want to do in here is oil connecting rod. Uh, I'm going to get a flashlight so we can see in there. Okay, if you can see, there's a little hole right there. One shot of oil. And then you'll want to do the upper connecting rod, which is up here on top. You'll see the screw right there. You want to kind of get the side of it. There's actually a hole on the top, but you can't get to it. So if you spray a little bit of oil on that, oh, every week or two, you can wait another two weeks. It's not going to kill it. Uh, next, that's that in there. Then we're going to come up to the red hole right here. And for that, I need another oiler. I just put one drop in here, one to two drops max every week. There's two. One drop in here is good in the track. Got too much, just wipe it up. Okay. Um, does that flashlight help? It doesn't. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to get it to oil the take up lever drive mechanism is the silver plate has two screws in it. So you have to take the screw out. Then you have to color change over. Take the other screw out so you can move this plate forward. So it takes a little doing, but you can get that plate to come forward. Shine your light in there. What you're looking for is uh, the aluminum arm. In the, you're just looking for the aluminum uh, arm that's on the left-hand side, and just shoot a spray of oil in there. Again, once a week, every two weeks is fine. Then you'll put the screws back in for that. All right. So, at this point, since we have this cover open, what we're going to do is we're going to grease the take-up lever drive cam. To do that, okay, so what I do is I use the white Tajima grease. Put a little bit on a screwdriver. And it's like a toothpaste dab. And you do need a flashlight. But what you're looking for is a grooved cam in and under. So it's not as easy, easy to see, but it's that back there. You go down, under, and find this open groove right there. You can see where I put the grease. Yeah. That's, we want just a toothpaste dabble. Every six months is fine. And you're done in there. Now, we just put this cover, put our screw back in. And this is your presser foot drive cam down inside. This is the drive arm, and the drive cam is full of white grease right there. The only thing anybody can do to get in there is to take a dollop of grease on the end of your brush 
and get it down in the front forward and wipe it in so what I'm doing is I'm going up and back into the cam do that every six months don't have to do it more than that okay now we got the grease here we got the grease we greased it here you can use the brush or you can use your finger and again just take a little bit of grease and these are the little bearings that travel inside the cam assembly so all you have to do is grease the outsides of them out and around the outsides and you can just reach into however many you want you know I just go in about five or five or six of them I'll cover up with grease now once you color change these cams these followers will go into the cam and grease it so there's no need to put to excess grease actually I'm gonna clean all this off and I'm gonna re-grease later this is too much grease right here this is a good example of too much grease it's really not doing anything so we're gonna wipe that down and start over okay you got an oiling hole right here and I put a couple drops if it runs out just wipe it down you got plenty of oil in there but one to two drops every week or two you got a same red hole back here and just guesstimate uh, over oil but a couple drops in there and then we're done with that oil for a second what you do is take this cover off and you'll notice all the dust from the fan what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow that dust out you can vacuum it or blow it um, you can use canned air or you can use uh, air compressor what you have to do is take the rear cover off first to get to the screw which is right here so that these covers can come off so we're kind of we're setting ourselves up for it to do a little cleaning and greasing in this area so once you get the rear cover off and the screws out and there's several screws here this cover comes off like so you can slowly move this and it'll be fine you won't hurt anything and then what I do since I'm in here blowing things out I'm going to turn it around I'm going to do both sides take this remove the screws there's one two and one over on this side that'll take this cover off like so check out the dust in there we need to get out up in here is really really in need of vacuuming and blowing see that keeps the uh, the main shaft motor cool in there once you get this screw out and there's a screw up in front and one here this cover comes off What I like to do is move it forward, we'll take a rag and just clean off the linear rail. Like so. And then you'd want to go over here and do this other one. Take all this old grease off. First, I would blow the dust out, all the dust out. And then once all this dust is out or you're vacuumed, just be careful of sensitive things like wires. Don't, uh, when you're blowing on the fan, make sure the fan doesn't spin so you don't burn the bearings out. So you'll want to just put your finger on the fan and blow that out. The same with the other side. There's a fan right here. There's a little fan here, so when you're blowing that out, just put your finger as a stop and blow that out. And you can see all the dust all over. This is your trimmer motor, trimmer home sensor. So this is about all be dusted out. 
right? And then 